Okay, now in this video, I want to show you one of my favorite things that you can do in Photoshop, and that is how to really play around with the selection tool and to see what you can do with the selection tool. And um, excuse me, Xander, your video was the last one, not this one. Thank you. And if you take a look up here, you'll see that the selection tool, if you hold this down, there's really a different way, a couple different ways to do this. One is what they call the rectangular. And there's also the elliptical, which is circular. Now, check this out. I'm going to pick with start with the elliptical. If I click and drag, I'm simply left with with the circle, right? And you've got the the um, marching ants showing that there is a selection there. But let's say I want to change something. Like I want something that's more shaped um, differently, right? I want to add something like an ice cream cone type of shape or something. Well, there is no ice cream cone shape here, right? But Check this out. With the simple addition of holding down the shift key on your keyboard, I can pick a different type of rectangular. I'll use the rectangular marquee and watch what happens. As long as I'm holding down and you have to hold it down the whole time. If I'm holding down the shift key, I click and drag. Look at this. I've just added a shape to the other shape. Now I can also, I can add as many as I want to, right? I can just keep adding. As long as I'm holding down, you could create like a puzzle like this, for example, like a crossword, not a crossword puzzle, but a jigsaw puzzle. Um, but I can also go back and forth between the different shapes, right? Like I can add on circles and you could just, you can even add on additional things um, that are not connected, right? And then when you add, as long as you click on them, they stick together and it doesn't matter what shape you make. Now, Here's the other part of this. I'm holding down shift, but if I hold down the alt or option key instead, look what happens. It goes to minus. And so now what I can do is I can subtract, right? I can subtract. Now you're looking at this and you may think, well, what's the point of this, right? Um, I can see how you can do this, you can add and subtract. Well, here's the thing that's cool. Here's the thing that's cool. Let's say I want an image to go inside of the marching ants. Now, that would be kind of hard to do in Photoshop normally, you would think. But now that I've made this selection, I'm going to go and take a picture. And I'm going to go and I'm going to go to Select All and Edit Copy. Okay? Select All, Edit Copy. And it's in my clipboard now, right? I go back to my image, my original one here. Now, watch this. I'm going to go to Edit. And I'm going to paste it. But I'm not going to do the regular paste because that would just put it on top of everything, it would mess it up. But you go to this feature called Paint Special. Excuse me, Paste Special. And watch this, you go to where it says Paste Into. This is very important, it's gotta be Paste Into. Now watch this, when I let go, bam. The image has pasted right into the selection. Now what's even cooler is I can use the move tool here and I can click and I can move the picture from inside. Now think about the possibilities of what you can do with this, right? This is pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So I've finished this, right? And then I can do whatever else I wanna do with this. Like for example, some of the things we did before was with the effect, right? Like watch this, I can go to the effects button down here and I'm going to go to bevel and emboss. I really like doing this. And then look at this. It just did a bevel and emboss over my selection. So this actually gives you an ability to do some really interesting um, creative pieces. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is you could make a digital jigsaw puzzle from scratch where you make all the pieces. Um, that would be a pretty time-consuming big project. But um, you can also just do simple simple shapes. Like if you just want something that's not just a rectangle or a circle, but you want to combine shapes, um, this is a very cool way to do it. I think you'll have a lot of fun um, playing with what you can actually do with the selection tools.